inside. So we've seen, you know, occasionally you've been bumped down into three technique or you bump down inside. What are some of the differences there from, you know, rushing from normal defensive end position? Uh, the space becomes a lot smaller. Um, you know, when you when you play these events, you're, you're on it's the island man's by yourself, world. going against the tackle. But when you go inside the trenches, when you was uh, at that three, you were two wide. It's a man's world. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're on the Phillips the same. <laughs> Uh, talking to Chris McCain, he uh, he talked a little bit about you being able to uh, get after the quarterback from two point, you know, stance. Is, is that true? Do you have that that type of versatility? Uh, I mean, I like switching it up, man. Like you, you being in three point or two point stance, you know, just whatever I feel comfortable yeah. being at the moment. Have and, we, um, yeah. have we seen that from you this year? What the from the getting after the quarterback from a, a two point stance? From a two point? Yeah. Uh, have you guys? Probably. Probably I think I did it all last last uh, game against Baltimore. So, okay. Yeah. So, so you pretty much the team's Swiss Army knife, basically. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say that. But <laughs> I feel comfortable. Whatever I feel comfortable at, it's anybody in whatever position. You know, everybody got different techniques that they like to play. So. Right. You know. Uh, it's however you feel comfortable playing the game. Right. Now, Cam Wake, you know, he gives you a lot of instruction, whether it be in-game or whether it be just, you know, practice, whatever it is, if he shows up here. Um, you know, what, what's the most important thing that he's taught you? Uh, I mean, Cam, he's more of an action type of guy, man. Yeah. So, you know, he, as a leader, he shows he shows what he, uh, he comes out there and brings it every time. So, you know, you feed off of that. You see what he does and, uh, I mean, Learn from learning from him pretty much like pretty much go hundred percent, hundred and ten percent every time you got down the field, you know. Right. You never know when it's gonna be a last play or you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So and especially like when the person in front of you line up against uh no matter who it is, tight end, linebacker, I mean tight end, offensive tackle, guard, center, right, uh running back, you know, uh just don't feel like anybody can block you. That's that's one thing I got from him. Uh, supposed to be invisible out there. So. Right. Now, final question for you. You know, you're going to be going out here uh, with the alumni, you know, for the 50th anniversary. Um, how, how does that make you feel? And what do you want to be able to go out there and, and show these, uh, show the former players? Uh, well, I'm going out there, you know, for support for the guys that I play with. You know, right. Cam, uh, Cam, Brent, Pouncey, you know, uh, a lot of respect for those guys and being able to show some support for them. You know, I mean, death for those guys and then the guys that did it before, before us and before them. Uh, it's going to be a good atmosphere, man. Seeing all those guys um, that made a name for themselves in the same, uh, in the same setting. So it should, it should be fun. Excellent, man.